Okay, this is a Mesa Boogie Mark III Simo class hardwood wicker cabinet up for auction. Roughly 1985. It's purple stripe, and I'll show you what that means pretty quickly in case you don't know. I'll back out just a little bit. This is the road case that I carried around in, carried it around in all of its life case is pretty well dead and I'm not selling the case. You don't want it anyway. It's a side shot. This really is a beautiful amplifier. I hate to get rid of it but I'm 58 years old and it's 70 pounds and it is just a monster. Get a little closer look at the back panel here. You can see that it's got Simul class power. I usually use it in class A. All the controls are in good working condition. And again, you can see the purple stripe. That indicates the revision. We also have an Electro Voice speaker in it. The Big Dog. When I bought this, this had every single option. I've only used Mesa Boogie 6L6 GC tubes in it. I've retubed it about four times and the tubes come with it. There's also an extra preamp tube just in case that one fails while you're on a gig. Go back around to the front. All the controls are in perfect working order. And this feller gets loud. I don't think I've ever had the master over two and a half because <laughs> it just doesn't need it. It'll knock over it'll knock over cars and SUVs at about 20 paces if you want it to. There are a few small marks just from regular use, nothing big. I don't want to do full disclosure. I don't think this side of the cabinet has any marks on it. Ah, oh, there's a tiny one there. Back of the cabinet has one or two small marks. Just one or two very tiny imperfections in the wood. This thing has been a wonderful amplifier. It has served me so very well and I hate to get rid of it but I don't want it to just sit around in my music room anymore. Somebody else needs to enjoy it. Okay we're back inside here. Got her plugged in with a American made Fender Stratocaster loaded with EMG pickups and uh, we'll run through some of the sounds, some of the controls here so you can hear and see what's going on. Right now I've got it on a clean setting. Uh, I've got the uh, volume control set right at about 6, the treble bass in middle right about 7, and the uh, master right at about 1.5. I've got the EQ section kicked in for a nice clean sound. <laughs> Nice clean sound out of that. Uh, the thing that I want to point out is that the control, the uh, tone controls on the Mesa Boogie Mark III are totally, totally powerful. The reason I say that is because right now like I said, the treble, bass, and middle are all on seven. If I turn them all the way down to zero, now if you would do this on a, uh, on a Fender Twin or something like that, you'd still get kind of a flat sound. On the Mesa Boogie Mark III, you get nothing, absolutely nothing. So if you want zero bass, you got zero bass, etc. for treble and middle. 
Okay, so we'll bring up the bass a little bit. I'll just strum the guitar open. Bring up the bass. probably find that you'll need to work for a couple of days with these controls to get everything set just exactly like you want because they really are powerful. A small turn, a small twist will make a large difference. So you've got a lot of flexibility on this amplifier. Okay, so that's our clean setting. Okay, let's go on to the uh, Rhythm 2 or the crunch setting and uh, these uh, the Rhythm 2 and the lead are all uh, switchable by a uh, switch by a foot switch so here's the Rhythm 2 hmm, I'm a little bit out of tune there hope you'll forgive me on that Okay, let's pop that off and let's go to the lead setting. Right now I've got the uh, lead drive set to about 7 and the master set to just about 4, so I'll get a nice, creamy, smooth distortion. <laughs> cabinet uh, loaded with EV loaded basically with everything so thank you so much for looking watching and uh, happy bidding and uh, boogie on <laughs>